What's up, party people? Something we haven't talked about before, or at all, my fault, uh, is our CNC lathe. So this is rather old school, I will admit, but this is a Tormach lathe. Um, and what's different about lathes compared to our uh, CNC milling machines that we've talked about is this thing only spins on one axis. So our spindle is here and then the tools move to it while it's spinning meant for making more circular parts rather than um, blocks or anything square. So what we're doing today is taking this big piece of inch wall, I believe it's now three inches long, we're gonna put a bore on one side and then a boss on the other side. We'll talk more about what those mean and you guys will be able to see what those look like, but let's look inside the machine real quick. Plot twist, I'm behind the camera over here just so you guys can see um, what the work cabinet will look like. It's rather small and you can't really see when I'm standing in your way. So this is the spindle that I was spinning earlier. So this has a max spindle speed of 2100 RPM um, since we are running mild steel, like I mentioned these pieces earlier. Um, we'll be running most things around 1500, a little bit lower, depending on the tooling that we're using and everything. And speaking of our tools, they are all mounted on this turret here. So they will rotate and you guys will get to see that when it's switching tools and everything. But what's in the chuck right now is called a mandrel. So previously I talked about the mandrel, which is what we have here. It's basically a custom fixture that we've made. And so to hold our cylindrical parts from the inside, because we're doing all of our work on the outside of the part, we made this. As you can see, it's pretty much just a turned cylinder that we then took to a bandsaw, cut those four little grooves in it. So it has a way to open up and expand when we take our Allen wrench and loosen that up. We can see, if I can loosen that up, that we've got a half 13 bolt in here. Custom made bolt with a little tapered face like that, which nests in there and allows this cylinder to expand. So we custom made that so that we're making 60 of these parts. So if we can have a repeatable surface that we clamp things into, that makes our job a little bit easier. So now that this is cut off the saw and deburred, I can just slip this over the face of this and it uh, locates on a back little ring that we have here. And then I'll just go in, tighten that, and then I can start the program. 